Dear ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues, good afternoon, dear, dear guests. Today is the 21st of September 2020, 14.00 Moscow time. Uh, let me start uh, the distation committee session dedicated to the defense of the distation by Gvozdetsky Anton Nikolaevich seeking an academic degree of Kent of Medical Sciences uh, in the degree field 14.01.06 Psychiatry uh, and 14.02.03 uh, Public Health and Healthcare on the topic standardized assessment and ways to improve qualities of remission of recurrent depression uh, let me open the session uh, by the act of Academic Secretary of St. Petersburg University, Alexander Valentinovich Gnetov, dated the 13th of May 2020. I, Olga Yurevna Sholkova, Doctor of Psy or Psychological Sciences, Professor, uh, uh, Acting Head of the Department of Medical Psychology and Psychophysiology, St. Petersburg University was appointed uh, chairperson of this dissertation committee. And uh, I would like to mention now the names of the esteemed members of this committee. Olga Vasilna Marinenko, Doctor of Medical Sciences, Professor of the Department of um, Healthcare Management and Medical Law, St. Petersburg University. Evgeny Yurevich Abritalin, Doctor of Medical Sciences, Professor, Head of the Department of Psychotherapy, Medical Psychology and Sexology, um, North uh, Western State Medical University, named after Mechnikov. And he's also uh, the professor, uh, professor of the Department of Neurology and Psychiatry of the Institute of Medical Education, National Medical Air Research Center, named after Almazov. Uh, Pavel Nikolaevich Zelotar, Doctor of Medical Sciences, uh, Associate Professor, Vice Rector for Medical Work, the Medical University, Ria Viz. Uh, Vladimir Davidovich Mendelevich, Doctor of Me mm, Medical Sciences, Professor. The uh, head of the Department of Medical and, and General Psychology at Kazan State Medical University, Dmitry Alegovich Meshkov, Doctor of Medical Sciences, Head of the Laboratory of uh, uh, Public Health Care Management, uh, Institute of, of, uh, of the Problems of Management, named after Trabeznik of the Russian Academy of Sciences, Sergei Nikolaevich Cherkasov, Doctor of Medical Sciences, uh, Senior uh, Fellow of the Laboratory of uh, Public Health Care Management, Russian Academy of Sciences, Andrei Mitchislavovich Grzybowski, uh, PhD, uh, Kazakh National University, named after Alf Harabi, Kazakhstan, and Viktor Al Alexandrovich Soldatkin, Doctor of Medical Sciences, Associate Professor, Head of the Department of Psychology and Narcology and medical psychology at Rostov State Medical University, but he is absent uh, for, uh, for um, uh, good reasons, and uh, his uh, review uh, will be read. Also, uh, in the remote mode, uh, the following members of the station committee are taking part in, in the work. Yuri Pavlovich Sivilov, Doctor of Medical Sciences, Professor of, the, head of, professor of the Department of Psychology and Narcology, First Moscow State Medical University, named after Sechenov. Uh, can you hear and see us? Yes. Andrei Vasilyevich Kopitov, uh, Doctor of Medical Sciences, Professor Belarusian, uh, Belarus uh, State Medical University, Belarus. Can you hear and see us? Yes. Also, the the two uh, medical uh, supervisors of the uh, of the applicant are here: Igor Mikhailovich Akulin, Doctor of Medical Science Professor, Head of the Department of of uh, Healthcare Management and Medical Law, St. Petersburg University, and Natalia Nik uh, St. Petersburg University, and Natalia Nikolaevna Petrov, Doctor of Medical Sciences Professor, Head of the Department of Psychology and Narcology Professor. 
uh, who is um, who is uh, also uh, a practicing doctor uh, on a remote mode. Can you see and hear us? Yes. In order to uh, uh, improve the quality of connection, of communication, please, dear colleagues uh, uh, who are online uh, with us, um, please switch off your microphones, but don't forget to switch them on when you're given the floor. Also, an audiovisual recording uh, comp accompanied by uh, simultaneous interpretation between English and Russia. Russian uh, is provided on the website of St. Petersburg University. Also, you can see on the screen um, uh, the uh, electronic. Uh, there's an L, uh, email where which you can use to send your questions uh, that uh, cover the the discussion, the academic discussion, and the um, so all these questions will be uh, received by the technical services and uh, relate to me uh, to be read. Well, the questions must have in immediate. Uh, relation to the presentation of the applicant and also signed uh, with an affiliation mentioned all, no questions uh, that will have that have no relation to uh, the academic discussion will be read uh, in accordance with the procedure of awarding St. Petersburg University academic degrees The station committee is uh, legitimate, if not more, not less than two thirds of the established membership of the station committee take part in it. Our station committee consists of eleven people; ten are present, and uh, including two uh, who are uh, in contact with us uh, via the internet so the quorum is there P please uh, Larissa Victor who is the curator from the um, uh, council uh, academic council uh, support office um, uh, register those uh, present so here's the procedure uh, the first one is a short presentation by the chairperson about the candidate and the uh, and the uh, pr paperwork that has been per, uh, submitted by the candidate. <clears throat> Five minutes, uh, short presentation of the candidate of 15 minutes uh, covering <clears throat> the main issues <clears throat> uh, tackled in the dissertation. Then questions to the candidate uh, strictly on the presentation, not one, two minutes Per question, uh, then the candidate will be will answer them. Anton Nikolaevich, will you answer every member of the station committee? Uh, <clears throat> or I would like to uh, reply to to every member of the station committee in turn. So the, all members of the station committee will give their reviews um, and give their assessment of the station. Then the dissertation, the dissertation chair, uh, committee chairman will also give her review. Then all the answers of the dis of the um, uh, candidate, um, not more than twenty minutes. 20 minutes 
for all questions. There will be an open floor discussion. Anyone present here will be able to um, make a comment, uh, either either um, or ask a question. But uh, if you want to do that, please uh, enter your name into the logbook. And also, uh, always introduce yourself. Then after that, the chairperson will read uh, the questions that have uh, uh, been sent to the email during the presenta to presentation or to the uh, session. And I would like to uh, draw your attention to the fact that uh, these written questions uh, uh, will uh, cannot exceed two minutes uh, for reading, two minutes reading. Uh, longer questions will not be read. Then uh, the candidate will have two minutes uh, per question uh, to answer them. Uh, then the academic advisors, uh, three minutes, um, will have three minutes to discuss the candidate. And then members of the station committee uh, will deliberate uh, on the verdict uh, and during this time for five minutes uh, the broadcast will be switched off then open roll call voting will take place uh, and the counting of votes uh, and a decision to award or not to award the sort degree will be taken and then the concluding statement of the uh, the candidate of not more than two minutes uh, will conclude uh, the procedure the Agenda, dear colleagues, if do you have uh, any questions, and uh, please, uh, those present, uh, switch off your telephones, and uh, but those who are in a remote mode with us, uh, please don't switch off your telephone uh, for. Um, for, for emergency communication. So this is the short presentation by the chairperson. This station of Anton Nikolaevich Gozetsky seeking an, a, a, an academic degree of um, um, Medical Sciences the degree field 140106 psychiatry and 140203 public health and health care on the topic standards assessment and ways to improve quality of remission of recurrent depression uh, was admitted for defense um, uh, by the act of academic secretary St. Petersburg University on the 18th February 2020 Vazdetsky Nikolaevich, uh, Anton Nikolaevich wrote his dissertation uh, in St. Petersburg University and under the guidance of Anik Mikhailovich Nakulin, uh, uh, head of the Department of Healthcare Management Medical Law, St. Petersburg University, and Natalia Nikolaevna Petrova, Doctor of Medical Sciences, Head of the Department of Psychiatry and Narcology, Professor, a practicing doctor. The number of publications uh, is seven, uh, including uh, refereed uh, uh, ministry approved uh, publications um, th uh, three, and uh, Web of Science and Scopus. Uh, publications one all the all the documents that has to be submitted uh, in accordance with the regulations and the, their copies uh, are available from the uh, the office of the station council um, management and uh, a curator for, for, uh, is here with us. Before I give the floor to the dissertation, to the applicants, I, I would like to ask members of the station committee, do you have any uh, questions, objections? Do we need to 
uh, go over all the documents that I've submitted by the decision? No. Therefore, Anton Nikolaevich, uh, your, your floor is yours. The floor is yours. Dear Chairperson, dear members of the station committee, dear listeners, I would like to present your attention a report on an extreme uh, topic, extremely important topic, the issue of remission in current depression. Recurrent depressive disorder is a chronic mental disorder that manifests itself in repeated depressive episodes. A depressive episode is characterized by a persistent decrease in mood, loss of the ability to enjoy the unusual activities and other symptoms. More than 300 million people suffer from depression. Depression takes the leading position in terms of disability, and the, the Russian Federation, the prevalence is 5.5 percent. Direct costs of treating depression in Russia are more than 1 percent of GDP. That the after the discovery of antidepressants, uh, it became possible to effectively stop depressive symptoms. It has long been thought that drug remission is the goal of treatment. However, there are still a large number of criteria for remission. In addition, the problem of incomplete remission has appeared as emerged in which the risk of relapse has increased, social function and quality of life are reduced. In recent years, attention has begun to be paid to cognitive subjective uh, impairments, uh, which require further objective, objective, objectification. In general, there, there was a change in the goal of treatment from achieving remission to achieving functional recovery. Discussions about the paradigm shift in, tr in treatment inevitably concern the quality of care. The law on the basics of health protection of citizens states that one of the components of the quality of medical care is the assessment of the degree of achievement of the result. Federal regulations require that quality be assessed only for inpatient, inpatient care and non only by the severity of symptoms of depression. The law does not establish the goals of seeking the restoration of social and labor adaptation. When examining disability, it is necessary to, to determine the persistence uh, of remission and social adaptation, but there is no indication of how to qualify. And only recently has the law established the requirement to form standards on the basis of regular revised clinic uh, regularly revised clinical guidelines since 2012 the standards have not been updated due to the lack of clinical guidelines and their economic efficiency has not been analyzed in modern conditions based on the above problems the research goal was formulated for the implementation of which five tasks were formulated and solved covering a wide range of problems from the analysis uh, of remission criteria to development of amendments to the standards. The research protocol includes examination of patients meeting the ICD-10 remission criteria of both sexes aged 20 to 50 years before the start of the study that required volume of the observations were calculated. It was possible to achieve a representative, representative material. Patients predominantly had high or incomplete high education. Uh, the unemployment made up only one-fifth of those surveyed. The duration of the disease was 10 years. The average duration of depressive episodes was three months. The duration of remission was five months. The work used uh, a wide range of methods uh, of assessing residual symptoms, quality of life, social mal maladjustment, and cognitive functions, all scales received licenses for use um, from copyright holders. Statistical analysis was performed in the ARP uh, 
programming language, uh, various classical methods, methods of multidimensional statistics and tests of computer modeling were used. The critical level of significance is taken as a value of half a percent. The research procedure consists of several stages. The respondent got acquainted with, with the voluntary informed co consent. Um, if signed, a clinical interview was conducted in, in duplicate uh, the symptoms of depression, cognitive functions, quality of life, and social functioning were assessed. A year after the examination, information was collected on development exas exacerbation. exacerbation. The study was approved by the Ethics Committee of St. Petersburg State University. Moving on to the most important results, a wide variety of criteria where permission has been established, from which one and the same patient can belong to a different clinical group since there is no reason to prefer any remission criteria. For the first time, a geometric comparison of all remission criteria was carried out. It, it has been proved that the com compromise criteria of remission corresponds to the following rule. Complete remission belongs to the range of scores from, oh, from uh, 0 to 8. Incomplete remission belongs to the range to, of 9 to 14 points. And the category of non-remission of or sub-depression belongs to 15 to 20 points. The termination of the compromise criteria for remission made it possible to isolate an intergroup comparison. During the comparison of residual symptoms, it was found uh, that only apathetic symptoms, symptoms are clearly differentiated between the groups. For the rest of the symptoms, such a, a conclusion cannot be drawn. Uh, in some cases, the severity of residual symptoms is equal with complete and incomplete remission. In other cases, similarities are found between incomplete remission and subdepression. There was no deterioration in the physical component and the quality of life, while there is a natural increase in the quality of life from the clinical variant complete remission to subdepression. This pattern manifests in almost all components of the mental quality of life. The situation is similar for the components of social maladjustment, maladjustment and increase in maladjustment from complete remission to subdepression is evident. Intergroup com uh, comparison of cognitive performance did not show any significant difference between groups. However, the three pro subtests of Stroop planning skills are characterized by extremely wide range of data. Based on the proposals uh, of various researchers, but on, on a different set of methods and in different mathematical ways, an indicator was constructed that the integral integrally reflects the quality of life and the level of social maladjustment. It is postulated that recovery index is a quantitative characteristic of the quality of remission. Significant relationship was established between the risk of recurrence within a year and the quality of remission. Addition, additionally, it has been shown that as sub-depressive state in uh, in a self increased the risk of disease recurrence within one year of observation. For the first time, a reliable direct relationship between the quality of, of remission and resistance to interference has been proven. Respiratory symptoms significantly reduce the quality of remission. And um, for workers, the dependence of absenteeism uh, on the quality of remission and planning skills has been established, while prese presenteeism depends on only on the quality of remission. Thus, a conceptual model was formulated which links together the main indicators. The model links uh, the clinical and cognitive manifestations of the disease to social characteristics and the risk of recurrence. Additionally, the actual practice of presenting drugs was analyzed. Prescribing antidepressants uh, does not meet the standard of care for patients in remission. Prescriptions correspond to the standard of treatment of patients in a hospital and international recommendations. Adjuvant, adjuvant, uh, adjuvant uh, therapy also meets the standard of inpatient care, inpatient care, but in, um, in addition, but in, it doesn't meet the standard of care and remission and current data of effectiveness of therapy.
In this regard, amendments to the current standards have been proposed, which take into account the need for all available antidepressants depressant, um, in effective drugs for the treatment of these patients. Uh, additionally, the complex of laboratory and instrumental diagnosis has been revised, has been revised in accordance with the instructions of further preparation. For the first uh, time, the cost of implementing of the three the three existing standards and the proposed amendments uh, has been calculated in the course of direct uh, comparison of costs. It was found that by ration, by uh, minimizing, uh, uh, improving standards, it is possible to free up funds through this, uh, the services of doctors, uh, pharma, uh, pharmacotherapy, and other services, and direct them to the, the necessary laboratory and instrumental support and psycho, psychotherapeutic assistance. To clarify the magnitude of the impact of the budget, the implementation of stands for the first time, an in-depth economic analysis was carried out, which was com compared with proposals. It was assumed that the patient received treatment in accordance with the standard and full 401 cycle of the model, which is equal to 30 days. All patients share started with the remission phase. Patients with varying like, uh, likelihood of excess sedation and receiving treatment in the hospital or outpatient, reducing the risk of recurrence depending on the duration of remission was taken into account in the model. The calculation of annual costs confirms the, the significant economic damage associated with the disease and amounts to 1.3 percent of the GDP. The proposed changes of the, to the standard will save 4.5 billion rubles. In uh, uh, at the same time, we expect that the introduction of modern drugs, adjuvant therapy, and an increase in psychological assistance will increase the quality of remission and reduce costs by reducing the risk of relapse and perspiration. In conclusion, it should be noted that the proposed and remission criteria and tools for assessing its, its quality can be introduced not only at the psychiatric service. Due to the high so social significance of disease and prevalence, it's necessary to control the quality of remission of the general medical network. I would like to uh, pr propose a technical break because the, 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 the equipment is not working uh, well enough. The, uh, the, therefore, uh, it's not only uncomfortable for us to work with such uh, disruptions, but also the 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 broadcast will be disrupted. Uh, dis is disrupted too. Dear colleagues, I announce a technical break. Uh, technical break number one.
Dear colleagues, Yuri Pavlovich, are you with us? Yuri Pavlovich, are you with us? here dear colleagues the technical break uh, is number one is over and we continue dear members of the station call do you have any questions on the presentation When you uh, created the group, were, were were there any clinic clinical cases when uh, the depression uh, was um, changed to um, bipolar disorder? Well, there was no. There was. Uh, there was no change of diagnosis. Any other mm, mem uh, members of the station council? Olga Vasilna, please. Dear Anton Nikolaevich, which uh, were the criteria for the selection of patients and what medical organizations participated in the uh, study, a recurrent, a recurrent uh, depressive um, disorder in remission, the age 20 to 50 years, because uh, the, uh, the um, l l capability to work uh, decreases most at this age. And the medical organizations uh, included um, the Seventh uh, Psychiatric Ho Mental Hospital, um, uh, Kashenko Hospital, uh, Skorsov Stepano Hospital, and uh, outpatient uh, psychiatric dispensary. Yes, please. Thank you very much, Anton Nikolaevich. Could you clarify? You divided uh, this uh, remission to complete, incomplete, and then a third one is asymptoma asymptomatic. Uh, uh, it doesn't uh, fit the traditional approach. What's the difference? Asymptomatic uh, depression, uh, what's the difference between that type of depression between and uh, incomplete depression. I mean, I mean a sub-depression, a symptomatic uh, de remission. The, there's a lack uh, of uh, any depression uh, symptoms. The, pr the problem e exists. This the state, um, this condition doesn't fit the uh, depressive episode and um, therefore I had to add to put it as a remission but some other studies uh, would would uh, call it a, a late depressive disorder Then, if there are no questions, then members of the station council will present uh, their reviews. I need to say that because uh, all the reviews have been published on the website of the of the university, uh, you can only read. 
uh, you, sh uh, you may not read the whole review, uh, only uh, focus on critical uh, remarks and questions. It's up to you. If there, are, well, if there's no objection, uh, Mironenko will, Olga Vasilovna will start. Dear Olga Yurovna, dear members of the station committee, the dissertation uh, of uh, Gvozdevsky Anton Nikolaevich on the type on the theme of standardized assessment uh, and ways of improving the quality of remission of recurrent depression uh, that uh, that has been presented to seek uh, an academic degree in two fields, um, psychiatry and public health and healthcare. Uh, it's certainly relevant because uh, there's no uh, unified approach to uh, the assessment of uh, depression and uh, therefore the healthcare system cannot tackle this problem and uh, it deals and uh, it leads to uh, budget deficits and uh, therefore patients uh, will have to seek uh, private help and um, and uh, and uh, all the recommendations and the conclusions are valid uh, the author uses a systemic uh, uh, approach to the material at all stages of the study. All additionally, from the text, um, we can make a conclusion that patients uh, are, were observed clinically uh, uh, without the a priori qualification of their condition. Uh, only and uh, so uh, intergroup uh, comparison was uh, was done only after the right criterion was uh, selected. The uh, scientific originality of the work has to do with uh, the the fact that new data was. Um, found uh, to identify remission, uh, the criteria uh, of remission uh, were uh, uh, presented and uh, heterogeneity uh, of the concept of remission was uh, validated. Uh, that has to do with uh, the ability to work uh, of a patient and social adaptation, etc. Concrete data was um, are, uh, obtained uh, that uh, that uh, lead to concrete uh, recommendations on how to measure uh, the condition of. Uh, of patients with this disorder and uh, uh, the probability of uh, recurrent recurrence of the disease of the condition um, uh, was also described and calculated and of course that impacts the medical care and the recommendations uh, the uh, the author's recommendations are valid, and what is more important, they can be uh, used by any medical institution in the Russian Federation. It's very important. Therefore, the work uh, is, uh, in its relevance, originality, validity, uh makes me uh state that the that the the author deserves uh 
the um, degree of kind of medical sciences as the uh, the dissertation completely complies with the regulations of St. Petersburg University on awarding academic degrees. Um, and the, uh, the author, as I said, um, uh, deserves to be awarded uh, the academic degree of candidate of uh, medical sciences and two degree fields in psychiatry and uh, healthcare management, public uh, health and healthcare management. I have some questions though that I would like Anton Nikolaevich to answer. First, uh, could you give a detailed characteristic of the questionnaire and the criteria of uh, choosing patients uh, for the for questioning and the number of um, uh, the number of uh, of the body of patients um, to uh, where from which you selected your uh, respondents. Um, uh, please give um, clarification about the amendments uh, and to the standards. And the third is uh, you work, uh, this work is in two uh, uh, degree fields. So would you like uh, to uh, focus on its relevance in the sphere of public health care management? First of all, I would like to say that that's uh, there's an index uh, that um, the quality of, uh, includes the quality of life uh, and the ability to work by the patients, and therefore um, uh, this one one of the central components of the work uh, was the calculation of the recovery index, um, and that was a working uh, that was developed in the United States. Um, um, in the current work, the who does uh, 2.0 maladjustment questionnaire developed by WHO based on the international classification of functioning, disability, and health was used to reproduce the result. The second questionnaire is a well known SF36, which depend independently assesses the physical and mental components of the quality of life target sample. All patients with recurrent depression in remission at the age of 20, 50 years who agreed to participate in the study and who did not participate in other studies. As far as uh, the sample size of 81 patients was calculated based on data from Petrostat prior to the study. Second, clarification of the amendment standards. All patients should be taken an antidepressant uh, of any group or combination. For them, the frequencies of assignment of uh, prescription were calculated so that their sum was equal to one. In the calculation, all available antidepressants uh, were taken, and the probability of prescribing the drug was taken as a, the reciproc reciprocal of the to total number of antidepressants, nomenclature for all as far as the, um, uh, uh, so the additional drugs were c included only if there was a strong evidence of efficacy, efficacy for them or if they affected the, the company symptoms. Well, the fact that the work of specialists to provide such services has been taken into account uh, in addition, the amendments affected not only the standard of care for patients in a remission, but also the hospital stage. As it turned out, the current standards do not ensure the continuity of medical care. And uh, as far as the um, as third question, public health. The work tested the, uh, the validated the recovery and validated the recovery index, which integrated reflects the quality of life and social functioning of patients. That's well as many 
healthcare management as well. Thank you very much. Then uh, you satisfied? Yes. Dear members of the station committee, the relevance of uh, the dissertation of Kvazdetsky Anton Nikolaevich on the topic uh, of standardized uh, assessment and ways of improving the quality of remission of recurrent depression are evident, are obvious, and um, this is not a clinical, not only a clinical problem, but uh, it's a social problem and the economic problem. Therefore, the, the station that we are discussing here uh, uh, includes both um, fields, but um, in terms of uh, the scales uh, uh, that we're using in treating such patients, unfortunately, uh, there are no there they are not uh, firmly recommended. The standards are outdated, and. Um, the problem on, of, uh, health, of uh, mental uh, care management um, uh, are well known. And, uh, the this station uses a, a, a good statistical package, which uh, makes it possible to um, align different parameters um, that uh, have been received by different instruments not only the symptoms, but also social, uh, the quality of life, um, uh, and the cognitive abilities, uh, and the result of this multifaceted analysis, uh, uh, the inpatient remission uh, was, uh, was uh, assessed, assessed, and the risk was uh, estimated as well. And uh, there's and therefore, um, the executive function uh, was a function of, uh, of the remission was found. The, uh, the, um, the dissertation has a, uh, a traditional structure, quite a few publications. Therefore, I would like to say that, uh, that Anton Nikolaevich is uh, Work um, is a complete uh, research, uh, research work, and uh, and therefore, uh, uh, because uh, it uh, describes the um, the problem and uh, and recommendations to tackle this problem are uh, included in the work. I have one question. And what um, what psychotherapeutic uh, uh, methods uh, can you recommend to uh, form functional remission? And this is uh, a question for discussion and doesn't then belittle uh, the quality of the station. Therefore, my conclusion is the distation of Anton Nikolaevich Gwazdetsky standardized assessment and ways of improving the quality of remission of recurrent depression uh, meets the requirements um, set by St. Petersburg University uh, on awarding academic degrees and uh, the said university and therefore the applicant deserves uh, the sort degree to be uh, awarded to him. Thank you. Thank you, Evgeny Yurovich. Uh, Please, uh, at this time, uh, the psychotherapy is um, is uh, cognitive behavioral therapy and interpersonal psychotherapy are the WHO recommended treatments for a depressive disorder. According to the WHO, they may be the first uh, line of therapy for mild depression. In a review of Gotham et al., 2020, 
indicate that uh, with mild or to moderate severity of the depressive state, the therapeutic effect develops in 8 to 16 sessions of cognitive behavioral therapy. According to the meta-analysis by Hoffman et al., 2017, CBT uh, has an average quality of life improvement of effect uh, that is com comparable to that of certain in re uh, reuptake inhibitors. Computer cognitive rec remediation improves working memory and levels of daily functioning. The, the next um, our, our review is by Professor Zolter of Dear Anton Nikolaevich, dear members of the stage committee, dear chairperson. When Anton Nikolaevich prepared this, um, wrote this uh, dissertation, uh, uh, he probably hadn't expected. Uh, that his uh, work would be so le relevant in 2020, because we have we have patients that are coming out of the post-COVID uh, uh, symptom, uh, and uh, from a practical point of view, uh, we see that uh, COVID-19 affects the uh, mental state. Uh, and this uh, this uh, work is therefore very very um, relevant today. These recommendations are very important. This this work uh, uh, has to be implemented into practical healthcare. I think that that at the level uh, of the ministry. Uh, uh, there's work uh, going on on uh, in-depth hospitalization uh, of patients. Um, I will not dwell on all my uh, assessment of the practical significance, theoretical significance, etc. I will just uh, focus on something that I would like to discuss. I like the work. But uh, I, what I saw lacking is that the, uh, the tables uh, or some uh, some summoning up uh, resumes uh, conclusions um, because that would increase the compressibility and. Um, uh, uh, ease of reading, and also uh, some conceptual uh, questions in in your calculations of the burden of disease. Uh, you use you uh, cite um, direct costs, uh, which are needed um, for uh, he for the care of such patients. Um, the um, I would say uh, that uh, well, this um, and the 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 direct um, costs uh, include um, include. On not only uh, the, uh, the disease burden estimates indicate the direct costs required to provide care to these patients uh, um, relate to the healthcare system as a whole, since any medical organization is required to comply with the standards. And you also said that um, the work indicates that one cycle of the model is equal to 30 days. For a non-leap year, 360 days in a year are obtained. Is it correct to exclude five calendar days from from the year? Thank you. About 30 days uh, is based on the standards. Uh, so the treatment period is 30 days or 90 days that um, divided by 33 times. Since the standards um, 
the comparison was made with the, an identical probability matrix. The final result reflects the direct comparison. For planning the expenses for a calendar year, the model can be complicated by introducing corrections, and this will reduce the visibility of the model. I am happy with the questions, with the answers, and therefore I would like to read my um, my um, uh, conclusion that uh, the the dissertation of Gvozdetsky Anton Nikolaevich uh, complies fully complies with the regulations of Saint Petersburg University on the awarding of uh, academic degrees in St. Petersburg University, and the applicant deserves um, uh, an academic degree of kind of medical sciences in psychiatry and public health and health care uh, to be awarded to him. Uh, uh, points 9 or 11 uh, of the regulations are not breached. And then Vladimir Davidovich Mendeleevich, the, um, the colleagues, I will not uh, uh, read my review because it's uh, presented to the station committee. I would like to discuss um, the issues that um, uh, that I thought w were important uh, in the work of an. Um, Anton Nikolaevich, I think that um, the direction that was was chosen by Anton Nikolaevich was was uh, very important for um, psychiatry. Psychometric, well, it's, uh, the, this criterion, uh, these criteria are in measurement tools and. Um, so the traditional psychiatry hasn't thought that uh, uh, such uh, conditions have, can be could be measured, and uh, and I uh, I give home, uh, due uh, to the uh, the advisors of uh, supervisors of uh, the clinical of the uh, applicant that uh, a very interesting model was used. But what's the complication? Psychiatrists are um, criticized for subjectivism. And and on the other side, obje objectivity is uh, measurements, uh, our uh, metrics uh, are not, uh, cannot be used uh, because uh, these tests uh, are also subjectives, subjective, because this is a self-assessment, and therefore this he had to go through the uh, between the Scylla and Charybdis, and uh, I think uh, Anton Nikolaevich uh, has managed to do that. The potential advantage of this work. Uh, there's so many factors, uh, incoming factors that um, that had to be taken account of, uh, and of course, in in one work, uh, it couldn't be do done. But um, in the future work, uh, this can be done. This uh, ten dozens of parameters uh, can uh, uh, affect. Um, uh, semi-complete uh, remission, complete remission, or asymptomatic uh, remission. Well, you, you analyzed uh, the prescriptions, uh, prescribed uh, drugs, and uh, most, most of this uh, therapy was uh, wrong, and uh, And therefore, uh, the the result, full remission or half remission or whatever, uh, uh, is the result uh, of the um, inadequate competence of the uh, medical 
uh, worker, you know, the, uh, the doctor. And um, so coming back to these parameters, I think that this is future work. And I hope Anton Nikolaevich uh, will not uh, uh, finish working on this. Uh, there are some also figures um, in some uh, in the work uh, uh, in uh, six percent of patients had hallucinations. Well, hallucinations hallucinations are uh, don't contradict the diagnosis of recurrent depression, uh, or uh, uh, but. Um, And but uh, I would say that uh, some um, some other uh, conditions also uh, affected uh, the remission. And but um, so th there's some you know critical uh, points here on my part. But uh, on the whole, I enjoyed the work. And this, I, any classification uh, n needs some logic. If there's a full remission, uh, then there can be only uh, incom a complete remission. There's a, there can be only uh, an incomplete rem remission. But there's no such thing as a symptomatic uh, remission. You should have uh, included it into uh, incomplete remission. And uh, but um, nevertheless, uh, my conclusion is that well, the distinction of Gazdetsky and Ton Nikolaevich on the topic standardized assessment and ways of improving the quality of remission of recurrent depression. Uh, miss the uh, the key requirements of uh, the the procedure on um, on uh, awarding academic degrees at St. Petersburg University and the applicant Anton Nikolaevich Gvozdetsky deserves uh, the sort degree of uh, candidate of medical science to be awarded to him. Thank you very much, um, Anton Nikolaevich. Uh, have you put down all the questions? These were not questions. Don Nikolaevich has answered uh, my questions already. Nevertheless, uh, Anton Nikolaevich, do, do you have anything to say to to the reviewer, or have you already answered the main? I've uh, answered uh, the main question as far as the. Unfortunately, the data that um, uh, I had, uh, I didn't interpret, I just provided. Therefore, I would like to to listen to um, uh, Professor Meshkov, dear colleagues. The work is relevant in two ways. First. Because it it can help the healthcare as the the stratification of patients in a more detailed group and uh, transfer to personalized medicine and this is in the trend and this is a world trend as far as the uh, healthcare management and uh, Pyle Nikolaevich already I already said it. Pandemic and the that the results that uh, uh, that it leads to uh, makes this uh, topic is even more relevant. Uh, some patients uh, uh, patients after COVID uh, that were hospitalized, half of them. Uh, 
uh, had depression symptoms uh, afterwards, um, and the, and depression is an, uh, unfortunately an incoming um, plague uh, in our world, and uh, and thank. I would like to thank Anton Nikolaevich for choosing this topic. The work, um, uh, when I read it, has uh, three parts. The first one is uh, standards, the second is clinical uh, study, and, uh, and, this, and the third is interpretation based on the clinical study. And the the huge amount of material to be studied uh, um, led to my uh, uh, comments, uh, critical comments, because when I tried to uh, to identify, to understand what design of clinical trial was. Uh, um, uh, study was um, I couldn't really figure it out, and uh, so therefore I had to uh, contact Anton Nikolaevich, and uh, he managed to uh, explain uh, uh, to me what was not clear, and I'm I was satisfied with his answers. Therefore, the work is really good. And um, it's very important, and uh, I uh, appreciate it uh, from the point of view of uh, healthcare management, especially in terms of clinical standards and the cost uh, assessments, and uh, the and uh, and I think that it's very important that uh, that the uh, the new. Uh, the recommendations uh, lead to um, to alleviating costs rather than to uh, uh, to more costs, and this is very important in modern economic conditions. Um, and therefore, I would like to say that the uh, my conclusion is the dissertation of Anton Nikolaevich uh, Gwazdetsky. Uh, meets the, um, the key requirements of St. Petersburg University and awarding academic degrees at said university, and therefore Anton Nikolaevich Gwazdetsky deserves uh, the academic degree of, academ of medical sciences, an academic of medical sciences in psychiatry and uh, public health and healthcare management to be awarded to him. I had, as I said, uh, I had uh, asked uh, all my questions, uh, all my questions uh, prior to the defense, and received all all the answers. Therefore, I would like, I wouldn't like to ask them again here. I would like to now read uh, the review of um, Professor Dudkin, Viktor Alexandrovich, while well, he draws uh, our attention. Uh, to the fact that um, there's a lack of standardized uh, ways of assessing remission, and um, therefore uh, it doesn't allow uh, us to um, implement the principles of person personified, uh, personalized medicine and targeted therapy in full. Therefore, uh, this. Um, in turn uh, leads to the impossibility of improving the quality of life and social functioning during remission. And um, therefore, the criteria, the, uh, the, the tools uh, to, to measure these different criteria uh, relating to remission uh, are presented in the work, and that's a very important a part of the work, and um, so the uh, the goal of this the re uh, research uh, is the uh, the goal of the work uh, was uh, to develop 
um, clinical functional criteria, the clinical functional criteria of the quality of remission of recurrent uh, depression and uh, measures uh, to improve the, that um, as part of the um, of meeting of this goal. Uh, some tasks uh, were were uh, uh, fulfilled uh, that um, uh, that tested uh, research hypothesis about the structure of remission and then the and we have to know that um, the the pro, uh, up the priorly done uh, calculation of the um, measure of um, of number of patients on the uh, based on the um, epidemiological statistical data and the criteria of uh, inclusion and exclusion of patients into the study uh, have been uh, uh, compiled uh, in a good way and uh, made it possible to uh, to achieve the her heterogeneity of the sampling. And the results um, of the analysis uh, are compatible with both Russian and um, uh, international data. The um, the scientific uh, originality and theoretical and practical significance of the research. Uh, the review of literature was done in a, at a high level, and uh, different uh, theories, different uh, criteria of remission as part of the dimensional uh, and categorical approaches uh, were. Um, described um, this uh, section has um, independent uh, scientific uh, uh, significance because uh, it uh, comp uh, uh, meets the criteria of systematic review and uh, the uh, an original uh, approach of uh, of comparing the criteria, the criteria of remission uh, w uh, was used uh, that um, goes beyond the traditional systematic uh, uh, review. Empirically uh, proven is the role of uh, executive functions and the ability of patients uh, to cope with uh, uh, labor uh, duties. Um, and therefore, also, uh, the author demonstrated uh, a non-obvious uh, association between the quality of remission uh, and the uh, ability to overcome interference. And practical significance uh, uh, is that um, uh, the author provides uh, amendments to the standard and uh, these amendments uh, are based not only in, on economic analysis, but also on the uh, unified um, heterog heterogeneous uh, approach to therapy of patients at all stages of medical care. And, the, the, and uh, critical uh, remarks uh, are absent. Um, and therefore, the conclusion of this review is that uh, Anton Nikolaevich Gwazdetsky deserves uh, the uh, the degree of um, academic of um, uh, candidate of uh, medical science sciences to be awarded to him. Um, I, uh, point eleven of the procedure. 
uh, is not violated. Therefore, Victor, uh, Professor Soldatkin has no questions or critical remarks on the dissertation. Therefore, we can continue and uh, uh, ask uh, Yuri Palusilov. Can you see and hear us? Please um, present your review. Dear esteemed members, I I uh, I highly evaluate uh, the dissertation. And therefore, um, I think uh, that the dissertation is valuable because uh, it's done in, uh, in two uh, degree fields and two specialties because depression is not only a psychiatric problem, but also the problem of clinical medicine as a whole and public health as a whole. Depression, every seventh person, um, one out of seven pers people uh, has a depression at least once a, uh, a lifetime, and uh, therefore, uh, and uh, in clinics, uh, there are more uh, and then in uh, hospitals, depression is even more recurrent and uh, and uh, depression if uh, depression is an, uh, if d uh, patients uh, uh, ha with cardiac uh, uh, problems, disorders uh, have depression, then, then uh, it uh, prevents um, the the healing process. Uh, anxiety and psych mental disorders uh, are uh, also uh, uh, accompanying disease, uh, diseases, uh, and they are all recurrent, uh, highly recurrent uh, conditions. Um, in many countries, uh, uh, in many countries, uh, treating depression uh, is under the public health um, tasks. The uh, uh, scientific novelty, uh, originality of the work uh, is obvious. Um, Anton Nikolaevich uh, was the first to adapt the uh, the recovery index uh, on the russian the population with depression well uh, this is a unique uh, research work and um, it has no ana uh, analogy in um, russia and therefore and uh, and it's in the uh, within the international trend, and um, cognitive dysfunction is uh, is a very important factor in assessing depression. And uh, low um, labor capacity. I think that. Um, the dissertation has a very good idea uh, the, that uh, Anton Nikolaevich says that um, applying uh, the protocols uh, with recurrent depression can be effective, uh, the proposed uh, uh, protocol can be both effective and e economically um, uh, ecologically uh, um, also beneficial both for the uh, governments, for the state, but also for the family of the patient. And well, rural regions of India 
and therefore uh, when India used a very uh, cheap uh, antidepressants um, uh, in different uh, uh, with different patients uh, in uh, in poor districts, uh, the government of India found out that um, because uh, this treatment was never carried out in full and other, uh, other factors uh, um, treating uh, people with antidepressants, cheap antidepressants, was actually economically uh, less viable than uh, giving um, a professional high-level treatment to these patients. Uh, we see that uh, Anton Nikolaevich has um, the uh, adequate number of public publications, uh, and therefore I would like to conclude that uh, the dissertation, uh, the standardization, standardized assessment and ways of of improving the quality of remission of recurrent depression, uh, completely comply with the uh, the, um, the uh, requirements uh, of the procedure on uh, awarding academic degrees. I've seen Pittsburgh University, uh, and therefore uh, the candidate Anton Nikolaevich Kwasiewski deserves. Uh, the sort degree of uh, uh, kinds of economics of medical sciences uh, uh, to be awarded to him. Well, uh, well my previous uh, colleague said that um, bad treatment methods were used, uh, and Anton Nikolaevich uh, actually actually points this out that the the protocols. Uh, the protocols uh, were not uh, it, uh, good uh, and uh, were not in line with the uh, accepted international practice. And Anton Nikolaevich uh, uh, just stated Anton Nikolaevich. Uh, uh, of course, of course, uh, couldn't assess the um, the quality uh, the quality of this uh, treatment when the psychotic of the first uh, l generation med uh, medications were um, uh, administered to every fifth one out of five patients, um, and uh, of course. Uh, Anton uh, Nikolaevich, uh, non nonthropic uh, drugs were also administered, and and uh, 3.7 uh, uh, percent of uh, of the patients uh, received, uh, and uh, antidepressants only 27 percent. Uh, uh, received drugs of the first line, and uh, and uh, this uh, measure should be higher. Three tricyclic um, uh, drugs. Um, uh, uh, are more powerful, but um, they are uh, they're not uh, modern enough. Uh, and well, you can we have to push for the antipsychotic of second generation. And uh, why did the doctors uh, take uh, these decisions? Why such hi high uh, 
high per, uh, indicators of uh, bad treatment decisions. I would like to say the standard on um, and uh, uh, is a combined uh, treatment uh, both for bipolar uh, disorder and uh, recurrent um, uh, anti and uh, uh, depression depression disorders and uh, and the doctors uh, didn't change uh, that um, because they thought of the financial condition of the patient and new clinical uh, uh, recommendations uh, that have come out um, uh, don't have uh, those um, uh, uh, guidelines, uh, recommendations. If we thank you, Yuri Pavlovich, are you happy with the answer? Oh, just one comment. Yes, just one. Recurrent depression, neither um, well, no, no bipolar uh, uh, disorder um, or uh, recurrent depression doesn't uh, require a first um, uh, generation. Uh, 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 or nootropic uh, uh, disease uh, uh, drugs. Uh, I would not um, um, cite um, all the um, I would like to mention only public health because I am not a psychiatrist. Why do I see uh, a relevance in this um, this work? The the work is done in two uh, uh, in two uh, specialisms. Uh, clinicists uh, uh, do good work, uh, sometimes practice, but practitioners, but, but uh, the, these recommendations don't find uh, uh, their way to uh, the practical healthcare management, um, because, uh, but when practitioners um, uh, uh, take uh, tackle the same issues um, they look at the the um, the whole picture but don't look into the detail but here you can see a combined approach holistic approach and uh, uh, re these recommendations uh, are very viable viable and uh, this, the applicant has gone uh, this away from uh, a pure uh, science to uh, practical output, practical recommendations. And I think that this is uh, as very uh, important. The next um, thing I would like to mention is the there is the results uh, uh, and the health uh, and the part of healthcare. The author uh, 
prepares a model that uh, can um, the risks can um, uh, be when uh, a certain st standard is used. There are so many difficulties from uh, when you uh, when you try to change the um, model of um, healthcare management uh, from reactive to proactive or prognostic model when we understand when that we when we do this uh, the results will be those and these and uh, a different action will lead to different results when we have uh, some capability to to provide health care we we can we have a range of different uh, ways of treatment uh, and uh, based on the model uh, that we choose uh, we choose the best course of action therefore as far as, far as this healthcare management uh, this work is of high uh, quality. The author uh, r obtained the results that he had planned to achieve, uh, to receive. And uh, when you work any work, you want more. And of course, um, the author will come up with more uh, in in his future work. Therefore, it's complete work. As far as the um, critical remarks, I, I don't have any conceptual uh, critical remarks, but I just have two questions. First one, what units uh, uh, measuring the necessity of uh, care provision did you use? And uh, what are the uh, the uh, reasons for healthcare management? As far as the unit, as the standard and the uh, request of the person that came for care, as far as the Pharma, a pharmacological analysis uh, it, uh, data are not uh, enough, and therefore the, the the recommendations can be uh, can uh, give uh, food for thought. Uh, for policymakers uh, developing standards in the healthcare system. I am very satisfied with the answers. The dissertation of uh, Anton Nikolaevich Gwazdetsky uh, that, um, uh, uh, that has written on the topic of um, uh, of the standard, uh, standardized uh, assessment uh, and ways of improving the quality of remission of recurrent depression uh, is a complete research work and uh, it complies with the main requirements of the procedure of awarding academic degrees in Pittsburgh University and therefore the applicant Anton Nikolaevich Kozdetsky deserves to be awarded an academic degree of kind of sci of uh, of uh, medical sciences in um, psychiatry and public health and health care. Sergey Nikolaevich, any? Thank you. Yes. 
Yes, please. Andrei Mitislavich Kozhubovsky. Dear colleagues, dear Anton Nikolaevich. I'm the last representative of, um, of the reviewer, reviewers, um, and uh, I will not read my review. And therefore, I would just like to say that that WHO recommendations uh, are gaining importance as far as the uh, the uh, uh, the relevance and the significance uh, they're all in my review I would like to say that as a t as a lecturer in biostatistics and uh, science methodology I you always look at the uh, the quality of the model and the uh, tenability of the uh, r results uh, uh, based on statistical uh, analysis, for example. Yeah, statistics uh, is often uh, a bow tie to um, to a body at uh, the end. To, for decoration, but here statistics uh, is used uh, as a core method. And uh, this is uh, an unusual feature, uh, a good, uh, in a good way, of uh, a, a, a candidate of science statistics. And then um, When you presented your work, I uh, I heard that uh, that that the the level of uh, significance um, traditionally used uh, uh, was increased by Anton Nikolaevich by ten times. And uh, when you read the analysis that that the author's uh, conclusions uh, um, actually derive from the data and the results of this modeling uh, are such that uh, they are very plausible and uh, because they are verifiable and um, statistic and the model uh, uh, is uh, uh, is compatible with the statistical model. Uh, the model is compatible with building statistical um, calculations. This um, I liked uh, what the author wrote. about the recovery index, but maybe you could have uh, uh, explained why this was uh, a good um, index to use. Well, so um, when you I calculated the index of recovery, you ignored the physical component of the quality of life. I would like to to see your arguments why you didn't fail to include it. Because uh, you said that this index was universal that can be used um, Uh, the, uh, you, the inclusion of this uh, component in this calculation of the X would increase the versatility of the applied method. The, the first one is the 
conceptually, the recovery index uh, has a very high percentage of explained variance, 90%, which is unusual for psych psychometrics. The, well, we, uh, the result is based on the following components, sample size, quality of methods, transformation method. The target sample size was calculated using data from Petrostat. Methods for assessing the quality of life, the social functions were initially quantified in the correct way. The, the search for the parameters of the information Transformation of points was carried out by the immuneration method. Thank you very much. The second one is um, from the uh, from an analysis, and I never saw in works from public health works as uh, this 90 percent. I'm not uh, uh, a big uh, expert in uh, psychiatry, but this was a huge number. In the public health care, 20 to 30 percent is just brilliant. And the you twenty ten to twenty is the explained dispersion. The uh, when this level is achieved, then uh, this um, this method can be uh, included in clinical practice. So, what were the reasons for such uh, a high result? As Three components, as I said, 81 per, uh, patient, this number of sample size is quite. And uh, these methods, uh, SF36, um, was adapted uh, by um, Russia, Russia uh, model before uh, I did the reduction of data, I, uh, I used the parameter to, um, that would allow us to optimize the target function. The third component is the, uh, the similarity of social, social um, the quality of life and social adaptability or functional functionality social functionality thank you the third question that i that emerged today it's just a, it may be comment you uh, looked at Well, every sample has to have uh, adequacy and representativeness, or sufficiency and representativeness. For some methods, uh, is 80, 80 people uh, is not enough um, for some methods that you, uh, you used. But um, but uh, you did um, very good things, and uh, I was impressed by I was impressed by some methods and the results of these methods, because because. Uh, because, uh, for example, the rarity of some diseases uh, cannot be tackled by traditional statistical methods. And statistical. 
uh, method Monte Carlo is, is well used here. I will I will just uh, point out to the elegance elegance of this um, uh, of this difficult situation. The, the, the elegant uh, solution to this difficult situation. And I would like to to read my conclusion. The dissertation of Anton Nikolaevich Gvozdetsky on the topic standardized assessment and ways of improving quality of remission of a current depression uh, meets the key requirements of the procedure on awarding uh, academic degrees at St. Petersburg University and the applicant um, Anton Nikolaevich Gvozdetsky deserves uh, to be awarded. Uh, an academic degree of, ca of the candidate in medical sciences in psychiatry and public health and health care. The points of nine, uh, the uh, uh, points of nine and, and eleven of the procedure were not violated. Dear colleagues. I am uh, con concluding. I will not. I will not dwell on the relevance. That's obvious. Because depressive disorders are so prevalent in today's society, and therefore, and uh, the this uh, goal uh, completely fits the clinical medicine medicine. Um, specialism and the, the originality uh, is sufficient and the methodological support is adequate and the veracity is um, also a uh, obvious evident a good statistical treatment of data. I may even say that um, that uh, uh, maybe statistical uh, figures um, are offense to clinical uh, findings. And um, and treatment. Um, I have some questions. Um, I had some questions, but I'm not going to ask them because we have already heard answers. And I think that uh, these findings uh, are um, practically important, and the method that can be used in providing health care. And the best work is uh, what um, can be, what can have fruit uh, in real uh, life. The main uh, results um, have been um, published. And I would like to say a few words on what I would like to. So, uh, so when the results, uh, when you r uh, provide results of your research, uh, you cannot cite, you can, in you cannot include the, the results of other researchers studies um, you have to provide your own and the results of other studies uh, should be included in the discussion section and th and you said that and in the uh, section on uh, and scientific Novelty, uh, you say that 
that um, you uh, that recommendations on the on creating the hotline of care for people with recurrent depression uh, would uh, uh, improve the accessibility of medical assistance. Um, uh, how as accessible is the uh, medical assistance for the category, for this category of patients in the, in the Russian Federation? Uh, maybe uh, the um, inadequacy, inadequate accessibility of uh, medical uh, care um, impacts uh, significantly on the quality of remission. Well, uh, there are some problems with terms. Uh, what is uh, the frequency of psychotherapy 0.1 and the frequency of psychological um, uh, assistance 0.5, uh, which uh, you uh, mentioned on page 87. So what do you mean by that? No comments uh, or, or um, explanations. And the second second question on uh, about table 36. Uh, you, you say that um, the subjects, uh, the relevant um, quantity of the subjects uh, with uh, with quality, uh, qualitative um, quality remissions uh, is the same um, among those uh, that had treatment in the Auschwitz patient, patient facility, 40 percent, and. Um, and those uh, that had no treatment, uh, outpatient treatment, uh, uh, no treatment at all, 35%. And the best uh, results uh, in quality remission uh, are in people who uh, never, never uh, turn to psychology, uh, to a psychologist. Or psychotherapist, fifty percent. Psychologist, seventy-five. How can you explain this? Uh, because uh, according to the results of the work, uh, uh, the conclusion is a bit different. Uh, when looking at this data, mm, you have a question about the severity of the depression, the quality of the depression, and methods of treating these patients. Uh, uh, who um, uh, were forced to find, uh, to look for help uh, both uh, in the outpatient medical state facility, state medical facility, and uh, private centers, uh, uh, and psychologists and psychotherapists. Maybe these are different uh, patients, uh, and they cannot be compared. Uh, in terms of the quality and the sustainability of remission uh, or and then uh, build models. Nevertheless, uh, Anton Nikolaevich wrote a good work and uh, deserves uh, uh, the sort of degree to be awarded to him. Thank you. Thank you very much. Andrei Vasilievich, Tony Nikolaevich. Well, as far as the uh, references to other research are provided in the case of describing approaches to solving methodological problems, the indication of the source of the remission criteria in accordance with which a particular result was obtained allows one to demonstrate the heterogeneity of the concept of remission, which is material for further analysis. The second, uh, in the course of the, uh, in the work, uh, uh, a model of was obtained 
according to which the risk of relapse inversely depends on the value of the recovery index, which is a quantitative assessment of the quality of remission. As far as the um, scientific novelty section, the introduction of proposals, according to, to um, Clause 10, Federal Law Number 20, Number 3.3, .3, on the basis of health care, health protection of citizens of the Russian Federation, the availability and quality of care is ensured inter alia by the application of standards of medical care. Other indicators of avail availability, such as the availability of specialists, did not change for a long time. Uh, Demcheva uh, points that out. Uh, however, the standards of themselves contain risk of providing formal, formally high quality quality and affordable but not effective assistance. How convincingly can one speak about anxiety aesthetic symbols? In the Mont Ansberg scale, the item internal attention characterized a feeling of vague discomfort, nervousness, internal confusion, panic, fear, or me melancholy. The, the item apathy characterizes uh, the difficulty in starting and maintaining daily activity at the proper level, which corresponds to the conce concept of asthenia, and what is the frequency of this psychotherapy and frequency of psychological sense of uh, referred to on page eight. Uh, the legislation gives the following definition. The probability of providing medical services or prescribing medical products for medical use, medical devices, including the standard in the standard of medical care, which can take values from 0 to 1, where 1 means that this measure is carried out by 100% of patients responding to this model. In numbers less than 1, the percentage of patients specified in the standard of medical have corresponding medical indications. According to Table 36, the relative number, the best, uh, the best results were achieved uh, uh, mainly in those who did not seek psychological or psy psychotherapeutic help, which allows us to conclude that the therapy received for these patients was sufficient. Despite the formal homogeneity of the ICD-10 group, uh, the work shows that uh, it's heterogeneity, and this requires further study. Uh, since there's a developed psychiatric service in the city, it can be assumed that there is a sufficient homogeneity of approaches to providing care to these patients. The mathematical model of the equality of remission allows you to quantify the degree of heterogeneity, which will allow you to discuss uh, the difference between groups in a more differentiated manner. As far as the the the. Uh, the lack of uh, inappropriate treatment and the proportion of aggravated uh, therapy, appropriate therapy and the use of therapy. The conclusion is based on the absence of a statistically significant association between the variables under consideration rather than analysis of individual frequencies. Uh, yeah, I'm very happy with the answers. I support uh, my colleagues. You have to focus in future on the clinical aspects. But other than that, I am satisfied. Dear colleagues, uh, I will read my review as well. And I would like to say that when I saw this decision, I was really afraid that uh, so many mathematical formulas and uh, calculations uh, uh, were included. But when I read it, because uh, this study is uh, a very elegant, I think that's uh, the good word that was used before me. Uh, and a very good a review of the literature, very uh, recent literature that uh, the author presents uh, his model, 
he and his method uh, and um, talks about different uh, uh, components uh, of residual symptomatics and uh, cognitive uh, um, effective uh, uh, symptoms, effective uh, um, uh, criteria, and also subjective uh, satisfaction of the quality of life. And um, he, um, the author introduces uh, a third uh, sub-depression um, uh, condition. The author says uh, uh, himself that uh, this uh, condition needs clar further clarification. And these um, different uh, these three groups are analyzed according to the chosen methods. Um, what impresses me is the the vel the volume of characteristics which uh, uh, are used to compare the groups. Fifteen uh, sources uh, with criteria are analyzed and uh, they they are compared and this is uh, very also elegant and uh, as a psychologist i would like to mention the fact that patients uh, are assigned uh, a group on uh, based on on objective um, criteria this the scale um, the, uh, this it also involves uh, a new method back a uh, that's uh, that are based on WHO rules It's very important because because uh, because uh, this uh, makes uh, this makes uh, this work uh, special or even unique because uh, uh, in other works uh, unverified methods are used unverifiable methods are used. The conclusion of the station is very good too. The well, the the data, the data is also uh, that uh, the author receives is analyzed not from the point, not only from the point of view. Of, uh, of the methods used by the author, or developed by the author, but also the methods that uh, are found in other studies, international studies. And the recovery index uh, is a very important uh, finding of this work. For clinical psychology, there's um, the the advantage of this work is a very uh, subtle, uh, very uh, fine analysis of um, uh, cognitive uh, activity of uh, patients with recurrent depression in in remission, uh, and uh, that showed a direct uh, influence uh, of. Um, 104 cognitions on the functional uh, state of the patient and therefore it uh, uh, opens up opportunity for further study of cognitive effective um, uh, cognition of effect effective um, uh, ratios um, or compatibilities uh, and also for the development of programs of psychological correction and cognitive psychological training. 
uh, in this uh, kind of pathologist pathology uh, well I have some uh, I have no uh, critical remarks but uh, I can only uh, express my sadness is that uh, that the uh, the introduction uh, lacks uh, a number of traditional rubrics uh, theoretical methodological foundations of, of research and hypothesis of research although in the text of the station uh, uh, the author talks about uh, some kind of hypo hypothesis uh, being proven and um, I would like to say that the provisions uh, to be defended uh, do not reflect in full uh, uh, the significant uh, uh, research results of the dissertation and also in chapter 3 of the dissertation a clinical functional characteristic of the patients of the re with the recurrent depression uh, with, uh, in different types of remission um, uh, clinical uh, uh, ex examples uh, of patients of, th of three groups uh, uh, could really uh, best uh, wonderfully illustrate um, the um, the uh, uh, the picture. Thank you very much. The dissertation of Anton Nikolaevich Gvozdetsky, standardized uh, assessment and ways of improving the quality of remission of recurrent depression, uh, fully complies with the main requirements of the r r procedure on the awarding academic degrees at St. Petersburg University, and therefore uh, its author uh, should be awarded uh, the academic degree of kind of sciences and medicine well I should say that um, uh, I agree with you that um, uh, s some of the uh, uh, some of the, re uh, res the pr provisions do not uh, um, and do not reflect the results, uh, but uh, I try to select only those who fit the specialism, the specialisms uh, in which this work uh, is executed. Do we have any questions from uh, listeners uh, that uh, by email? No. Therefore. I would like to give the floor to the uh, research advisors of the dissertation. Dear members of the dissertation committee, dear chairperson, Don Nikolaevich, colleagues, uh, I'm very, very happy. Uh, I was very happy to become an uh, academic uh, research supervisor. Uh, thanks to Natalia Nikolaevna, who invited me. Psychiatry is a very um, difficult degree field. Um, psychiatry is a very subjective field. And um, Anton uh, Viktorovich uh, uh, found a way to make this topic uh, t uh, innovative and uh, and find a focus uh, uh, in uh, in the economics um, of health care provision. 
this is a very relevant uh, work and maybe unique. Well, uh, the quantitative um, assessments, um, uh, uh, Anton Nikolaevich is not only a very uh, a cultured and educated and erudite person, he has um, he uh, he he knows uh, uh, mathematics, programming. Uh, speaks very good English, and uh, I have been really lucky working um, with uh, Anton Nikolaevich, and uh, I have been enriched. I would like to end. The, the, uh, such, the, such students are very rare to come by, and I ho hope that uh, Anton Nikolaevich uh, has uh, management uh, qualities and uh, uh, could uh, implement what he has uh, written about. Thank you, Igor Mikhailovich. Natalia Nikolaevna. Can we see or hear you? Dear members of the station committee, I, would, I am very grateful to uh, Professor um, to, uh, to Professor. Um, uh, Akulin uh, said many good words. Uh, uh, St. Petersburg University was the alma mater of uh, and for Anton Nikolaevich. This is uh, when he was a young student. He uh, joined the student psychiatry student society, sorry, and uh, he is. He successfully studied uh, clinical practices. Um, he worked uh, in in Pavlov uh, Hospital Number no. Seven, and uh, uh, was uh, appreciated there. And we were proud that uh, that um, he uh, joined uh, the departments uh, of um, psychiatry. And uh, in the postgraduate study, he was awarded a uh, uh, presidential grant. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, and uh, um, I would like to say that Anton Nikolaevich was a postgraduate student that uh, granted no problems for the uh, for the academic supervisor was always responsible uh, was pr uh, was able to do independent analysis of data and Ant anton is really keen on mathematics uh, and he is uh, he is uh, apt at statistical uh, analysis, uh, and that helped him a lot uh, on working on this dissertation. And I uh, and think Anton, uh, a great future awaits Anton Nikolaj in science. Thank you. Thank you very much, Anton Nikolaj. Dear colleagues, any member of the dissertation committee would like to add anything? Yeah, or those present? Then we continue, if not, before we uh, do the open roll call uh, voting. I would like to ask each uh, of you, do you have any questions? Uh, or objections as to the technology of the this station procedure of the uh, the station session committee session 
Я должна получить ответ от всех. Поэтому Ольга Васильевна уже сказала, Евгений Юрьевич. Евгений Юрьевич. No objections, Павел Николаевич. No objections. Владимир Давидович, no objections. Дмитрий Олегович, no objections. Юрий Павлович, no objections. Oh, if you allow me. Uh, high high uh, honor for me to be participate and uh, Laris Victor for the technical support. Thank you very much uh, for joining us. Uh, Sergei Nikolaevich, no objections, no questions. Andrei Vyacheslavich, Vyacheslavich, Andrei Vasilevich, thank you and I totally uh, agree with Andrei uh, Yuri Pavlovich. No problem. No. Andrei Pavlovich. No. Um, Nikolaevich. The next uh, point on the agenda. Before we vote, we have a chance to uh, to declare a break to deliberate uh, the decision. Do we need such a break to discuss results? Do you remember that? I don't think we do. We have the same, well, opinions were really unanimous. Sixteen twenty-two. Every member of the station committee should be voiced, uh, should voice uh, their opinion. Dear colleagues, dear, dear colleagues, uh, make sure that uh, the broadcast is on. And uh, that we should ta check whether we hear each other, especially those who are uh, an, a d on a distance, at a distance, m on a distance mode with us. So I would like to as to put to the vote uh, the the resolution to award Anton Nikolaevich Gvozdetsky an academic degree of candidate of medical sciences in the degree fields 140106 psychiatry and 140203 public health and healthcare for an open roll call vote. I just remind you that uh, not, uh, not m fewer than three members of the station committee I uh, should vote in favor of the decision. And Olga Vasilina Mironenko, your opinion uh, uh, deserves uh, uh, the degree of uh, candidate of medical sciences. Uh, Evgeny Yurish Abrita, I support, I vote for uh, the, uh, the awarding of the degree. Pavel Nikolaevich, I vote for the awarding of candidate of medical sciences in the degree fields. Vladimir Davidovich, I vote for in favor. Dmitry Olegovich, I vote in favor. Yuri Pavlovich, I I vote in favor. Sergei Nikolaevich, I, I vote in favor for the third degree of Andrei Mitchlovich. I vote in favor. Kapitov Andrei Vasilovich, I vote in favor. I, uh, Olga Yurina Shelkova, also vote in favor of awarding the academic degree 
of a, a candidate of, a, of a medical sciences to Anton Nikolaevich Kvasdesky. So easy to count the votes, dear mem colleagues and guests and members of the station committee, those present, esteemed um, uh, supervision, uh, super, uh, the station supervisors, out of the ten. Uh, voted in favor of 10 people, uh, voted uh, against uh, zero, and abstained zero. So the decision to award Anton Nikolaevich Kwasdetsky an academic degree of candidate of medical sciences uh, in the degree fields um, 140106 psychiatry and 140203 public health and healthcare has been uh, m m uh, has been made uh, thank you for uh, for your brilliant uh, defense and uh, your fl the floor is yours i would like to thank uh, my s academic super research supervisors uh, because they know me they've been they've known me for many years since i uh, so as a student, and they've helped me a lot to to uh, write uh, methodologically um, a, a valid paper, a, a, a valid uh, research. And uh, I would like to thank uh, specialists from different countries who looked at uh, my work uh, and objectively assessed it. And I and uh, hope that uh, this result uh, will be interesting to other people, because uh, such a wide uh, range of specialists can discuss it. I would like to thank my university and members of the st of staff who have uh, helped me on my journey. This would have never happened. I'd like to thank my school teachers who supported me, my striving for uh, practical solutions of scientific problems. Thank you very much. My sincere congratulations. The session is declared closed. Thank you. Thank you, the technical service. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.